Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on creating a V-Ray 2 material in V-Ray for Rhino. Two materials essentially allow you to add line work to any renders you're doing within V-Ray for Rhino. And you can see here I've got a simple white model that I'm rendering out currently. Now to make a toon material all we need to do is go to the material section in the asset editor, click on the add material properties here and add in a toon material there. Now you'll see when you add it, it looks kind of like this, it hasn't really got any base settings and if we click on the right hand tab here, it will open up the settings for us on the right. Now it will ask for a base material, so I'm going to just drop in the white material as the base. When you add that in, you see in the preview it gives us a white material with this black outline. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to select my model here, and I'm just going to right click and apply that tune material to the selection. And you'll see in my render now we've got that nice little black outline around some of the geometry. Now the thickness of the line is based upon this line width setting here and if I zoom in you'll see that the line gets thicker and more clear to see there. But if I up that thickness we can then make the line thicker depending on how bold we want that in the scene. So let's zoom out a bit and I think for this we'll go for a sort of 2.3 line thickness and we can go a little bit lower. Now you have a few properties to play around with here. We can change the opacity of that line thickness and we can also make that line not visible in certain reflections if you didn't want it to show up within reflections. As well as that we can make other two materials that don't just have a white base material but it could have any base colour. So if for instance we made a new one here and instead of the white being the base, I selected my glass material as a base. And I've got this kind of green glass material here. And I'm just going to add that onto this selection. We can keep my green glass material, but we can give this a tune outline as well. So it doesn't have to be solid colours. You can have glass materials and apply this outline to them too. And play around with the line width within that material as well, separate to the other one. So it gives you a lot of scope for creating different sort of base material colours and giving them an outline to give that geometry some line work in the render too. So that's just a quick introduction to V-Ray 2 materials. They're a useful way of adding extra line work into your renders to give either a cartoony look or maybe a sort of more drawing based look to your renders you're doing. Thank you for watching and if you want to watch any other videos on creating different materials in V-Ray please check out the videos on the channel.